I would like to share with you this fun Black Friday landing page layout for the DV team. And I created a, a header section with a nice follow the mouse hover effect, the monochromatic hover effect. And in this video, I would like to show you how you can recreate it. Hello, my name is Anya and my goal here is to help you build awesome websites. So in this video, we are going to use some custom CSS and jQuery to create this nice monochromatic uh, hover effect uh, in Divi. So this is the uh, page layout. As you can see, it's just a simple product listing for Black Friday uh, landing page but this is the section I would like to focus on uh, in this tutorial. I just created a new empty page and here I will add a new row with two columns. And now inside the uh, row settings we want to make sure that the first column background is black And we also want to add some uh, padding inside that column. So in the design section, in the column settings, let's add top and bottom padding. We'll get back to, to it in a, in a moment. Uh, it should be fine for now. Let's add background to the second column and also the same spacing. Now I want to make sure that the row is full width. 100%. And I want to make sure that my columns are equal height. And I will also decrease the gutter width, so there's no space here. Let's add our text. In the design section, we will want to make this big and bold. Let's set the font size to 120 pixels. Make sure that the line height is okay. Mm, let's change the font size for smaller screen sizes. And let's change the alignment. So on desktop, right aligned, on tablet centered, and phone centered. Okay, great. Now let's duplicate this text. And change the color and alignment. Okay, great. Uh, actually, we want to change the this column setting uh, co color uh, background color back to black on for tablet and um, and phone. So the text color will also change. So on tablet, let's do white and also white on phone. And now back to the column settings, background on tablet should be black and also on the phone. Now we have to fix the spacing here. So in the spacing section, um, let's check desktop first. There will be left padding in the second column here. But for tablet, when the text is centered, we, we don't want that. So here, let's remove that. And we don't want to stop space here. Like 
like so and it should be fine on mobile so now back to the first section this needs some space on the right side and we want to lose the bottom padding and the right spacing on mobiles okay lovely so two colors on desktop and single color on a phone let's save that and now I plan to use a CSS property called uh, the mix blend mode but this property only affects sibling elements so if I want my new element to um, mix mode with this uh, both of these columns uh, my element needs to be next to or the row in the HTML structure so I could use a new row but that comes with too much of initial styling so instead I'm going to create my element dynamically with uh, jQuery so let's add a new uh, section with code module and here let's add a script tag and jQuery function And we need to insert an element. Mm, actually, we need a custom CSS class. We have to add that to our section first. But inside this section, we let's call it um, the L Black Friday Hero section. Let's append it with a new uh, div. So append function creates an element uh, within at the end of the um, target object. Okay, so here I want a div with a class of cursor, like so. Okay, and now this CSS class needs to be added in our um, section settings. So this is my class and while I'm here, I will remove the spacing the padding and also remove the row spacing okay great and now if i uh, save that and exit the visual builder and inspect my page source Here is, let me see, here is our row and this is a div with created with jQuery. So since this is a sibling element, the mix blend mode will work on both of the columns here. So now back to my uh, code module and below I will add a style tag. Okay, and we want our cursor, sorry, to be positioned fixed, let's say at the top and in the center. Let's make it square. around okay and 
and use the mix blend mode difference. Okay, that should be a good start. Let's save that. Now on the front end, you can see this element here and I uh, have made a typo here, so back in the mix blend mode. You see, it's looking good now. Now let's make sure that it actually follows uh, our mouse. So we are going back to our jQuery code and we're going to use the mouse move function on window. So when a uh, window So wherever, whenever we move our uh, cursor within the browser window, our element, which is the div of a class cursor, will change its CSS position and top will use the um, Y axis and left will use, um, sorry, this should be a comma, the X axis, like that. Okay. Let's add, let's clean this up a bit. Okay, and uh, we want to make sure that the cursor itself is within within uh, the in the center of the cursor. So we have to move it a bit. So transform translate by fifty percent of its own with minus fifty percent to the top and to the um, left. So this will move its center to the center. <laughs> Okay, that should do it. Let's save that. And back here, let's close the inspector. As you can see, it follow my it follows my my mouse cursor. So it's pretty awesome. And on mobile, it will be displayed wherever we tap it, and then it would stay fixed as we scroll. There's no content here, so I can't really scroll it. We can preview that here on this layout. So it would be here in the center. And now when I scroll, this stays fixed unless I tap somewhere else. So I think it's a fun effect even on mobile. So depending on that top and uh, left position at the beginning, uh, we can change that initial initial state, but then user can still tap on the, their phone and this element will change its position. One other thing we can uh, add is to simply remove the cursor, the def default cursor from the um, from the section, so you can see the the um, mouse pointer, just the circle. That would uh, be a simple. A uh, case of the L hero section. Uh, sorry, no, it was the L B F hero cursor none. And if I save it, I'm back here. There's no pointer anymore. So there you have it. Please feel free to download this page layout from my website and also copy uh, the code I use uh, if you would like to recreate it yourself. 
and uh, I know this isn't something you would use on your everyday website but I still hope that it was helpful and you had some fun uh, creating that with me. As always feel free uh, to get in touch if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.